I apologize for you having to see me all up close. Um, today we are going to do a wrist corsage for a little dance. And if you see me glancing back and forth to um, two different cameras, it's because we are live here on Facebook and over here on YouTube. So when you come on, please tell me hello. Tell me how you're doing today and tell me where you're from. We love to know that. And let me tell you, I get so many comments about, oh my goodness, you have so many followers from so many places. Um, I'm telling the cat, no sir, he's gonna, no sir. Don't come up here. I said no. <laughs> he does not need to be up here in this glue with this wrist corsage and he's coming. Everybody needs a cat. Get down please sir. Thank you. Get down. So um, today we are going to make a little wristlet corsage. We do corsages for little dances or the prom or um, daddy daughter dances. We get um, lots of little wrist corsages and this is the most common corsage wristlet that we use. It is just a little elastic band um, and it comes with a little metal um, piece that we actually glue the flowers to. Now when I first started in the floral industry we did everything wired and taped and so so how we would do a wrist corsage is I would do a regular wired and taped corsage and it would be traditional like it's the four or five little flowers with a little um, I'm gonna have a meltdown I'm gonna have a meltdown I'm sorry <laughs> um, and we would just wire it to this piece so I would take and wire it well now we use glue we use a floral adhesive, and it's an Oasis floral adhesive. I don't know if you can see that, but it's made by the Oasis brand. And so what it actually is, it's a whole lot like um, rubber cement that you would use to make um, like the little airplanes and different things when you make model airplanes and model cars. It's kind of a rubber cement. So it's a cold glue, and it does not damage the flowers that we put on this um, wristlet. Now I had someone ask the other day if there is, if the little girl is tiny instead of an adult, how do you make this fit a little girl? I'm going to show you how to do that real quick before and then I'll take it apart because it's really easy to do. So what we do is this wristlet actually has where it's um, sewn together. It's got like a little seam right here. So when I'm using this wristlet to make it for a little girl, I will just take a piece of um, floral wire and this is a tiny piece, but it's a piece of florist wire. Um, and I will just stick it right through that elastic, stick the wire right through and then I'll take and I'll twist that wire. So what it's done is it's just kind of, it's just kind of cinched it. So it just kind of cinched it to make it a little smaller. So it makes the little wristlet smaller. Now, you can take some scissors and snip that little, um, that little tab off, or you can just glue those flowers right down to it, whichever you'd prefer. I usually take scissors and cut it off, um, but it really works either way. Now I do need to tell you guys that Victoria's here. So y'all talk to me if you have any questions. Um, it is kind of a madhouse around here. It is that crazy holiday. And so um, every once in a while you might see me almost melt because I have a telephone that Owen left in here and the phone's ringing and I'm, I feel crazy. So I apologize if I look a bit frazzled. Um, Anxiety is high, so y'all forgive me. I apologize. Um, okay, so here's our little wristlet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to um, glue onto this little piece. Let me show you a trick, though, that I have learned. So somebody asked me, how long does this glue last? Um, for us, it lasts. It lasts a long time. Use a tube. It depends on the season, but we use it pretty pretty fast. We use, a, we use it before it goes bad. The main thing about keeping this glue fresh is this little black lid. You need to keep up with that lid because it needs to be sealed in order to keep the glue fresh, okay? So let me show you the trick that I learned to keep up with this lid because it's tiny, number one, and it's black, and my work surface is black, so it gets lost pretty easy. So here's the trick. Take your floral knife and cut a little X. Can they see me? 
Can you see me there? Nope. Okay. Can you see me here? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to take your knife and just mark an X in that box. So a very simple little X is marked in that box. I'm going to take my glue lid off and I'm just going to press it right down into that box. Now, I know that sounds like that might be silly, but I promise, guys, this is going to, I'm sorry, my eyes are chin. This is going to save your life because you'll be able to keep up with that little, with that little lid. Huge, huge thing is to keep up with the lid. So I just put my box back down and I always just put my used glue back in that box so I know I can always put that lid back on the box, okay? So I'm going to tilt the camera for um, YouTube down and I'll tilt you guys too. So you're not going to see my face, but you're going to see my hands, okay? So give me just... I'm going to tilt you down just a little. Victoria, I'm going to thank you, darling. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing is I am holding this wristlet, and I am just going to add glue right here to the top of this, um, this metal band. Now, some people like to fold these um, little tabs over. I just leave them, I just leave them as is, okay? I'm going to take my glue and just add it right to that band, and then I'm going to set this down. Okay, what that's doing is it's getting tacky. When you first put the glue onto the band, it's not very tacky. It's, it's just, it's not, it's not sticky yet. So I like to add my glue and set it to the side and then I'm going to tie my bow. Now this is just a regular floral satin. Can you see me, Victoria? I'm gonna brighten up the camera on YouTube just a little bit because it's looking, Okay. everything is a little dark. So this is regular floral satin. This is what we call number three. I'm not exactly sure what the dimensions are. I don't know the width, but it's what we call a number three. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a, a small bow to add to this wristlet. And so I'm gonna take my, and this is probably when you're tying bows, if you're learning to tie bows, this is probably the hardest bow you'll learn to tie. Um, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna tie it just the same as I always do. I have my um, tail sticking out and I have the front of the ribbon facing toward me. I'm making a loop, I'm gonna do a twist, a loop, a twist, and I'm probably gonna do about four loops on each side. They love your blouse. Oh, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. And you have lots and lots of hellos. We have lots and lots of hellos on YouTube. Hello, everybody. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you. And, and y'all forgive me if I seem to be in a tizzy. I apologize. I, I'm just a little... Oh. <laughs> That's how it goes this time of year. Okay, so I have my four loops. And I'm gonna take, this is number, I wanna say that it's 26 gauge. It's just a smaller gauge than I usually use. I usually use 21 gauge. It's just a smaller, finer wire. And I'm going to take that and I am going to tie off my bow. Um, Dawn Miller says six more days until Valentine's Day. Have you started making arrangements? We have started greening out vases, Dawn. Our flowers are flying in tonight. So we are headed to the airport tonight to pick up all our flowers. And so we will start processing roses and all the flowers tomorrow. So what I'm doing here is I'm just holding where that wire is and I'm just fluffing that bow. Okay, and really the bow size is completely up to you. So don't feel like if you think this is too big, it's okay. You can make yours smaller. You can make yours bigger. Really, it's all your preference, okay? This is for, I think she, this little girl's in high school. So she's not, um, she's not a seven-year-old. She's, she's an adult size child. And so I'm not gonna make it too tiny. So I have fluffed out this bow and I am just going to stick it right onto that glue. And you have to hold it a minute so that it'll hold down. But yes, Miss Dawn, we are going to bring those from the airport tonight and put them in our cooler and we'll begin processing flowers tomorrow. And tomorrow is Friday, so we will begin, we will have um, all the children come. So Callie's children will come, and my boys will be here. Isaac, my nephew, will be here. And they're going to start wiring roses. So here comes the big, busy, busy. Um, 
Saska Atkinson says, Hi to you both from the UK. It's 2200. How many roses do you have coming in? Um, in red roses, we have 1500 stems of red roses. And then we have several hundred of each of the other colors. So I, when I say several, probably what? I think 400 white, 100 yellow. We have some mixed roses that are just coming in our mixed rose box so that we can put them in the arrangements. And then we have some peachy colored, I think we ordered Orange Crush, didn't we, for the for the pastel. So I, a lot, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, so I have just pushed him down so it's glued down to our little wristlet, okay? Now what I like to do next is I like to come in with my roses. So I have these little garden white spray roses, and they're real fluffy. Um, but this is the stuff. This is the type of white rose that we had in right now. So I'm going to actually not leave them quite so fluffy. I'm going to pull back some of the petals. So I just take some snips or some scissors. Here's some snips, and I'll just cut that little stem really short. I'm going to I'm going to pull off the. I cut it really short. And I like to try to cut that little calyx kind of flat so that when I stick it with the glue, it sticks kind of, it sits kind of flat. So there's my little rosebud right there. And pull off any of those petals that you don't look, think looks pretty, okay? I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to pop it with just a little bit of glue. YouTube Cynthia Lee says I'm so excited I finally caught you live I love you guys hello thank you so much for being here so what I did was I just kind of nestled it right into that bow now it's not stuck so if you try to turn this little guy over he's gonna flip over okay um, but I just kind of nestled him right down into that ribbon I'm gonna take my second rose this is just a smaller little bud I am going to leave my calyx a little longer because he's gonna kind of nestle right into the side okay just like that so I'm gonna take my glue can everybody see are you seeing it on on both places I just don't want you to not see I'm just taking my glue and I'm just going to nestle him right into place so I just and really it's the ribbon that's holding everything together right now okay And it takes quite a few minutes for everything to cure. So don't think that when you get it all put together that it's gonna stay because you just have to let it sit for a bit. That has been my hardest part about cold glue is that it does not secure quickly. You know, hot glue is very quick. It's a fast um, glue, fast acting glue and it holds and cold glue doesn't. It's not fast acting. Now let me explain to you the reason you do not use hot glue using fresh flowers. Now if you are using artificial flowers you can certainly use hot glue but when you're using fresh flowers the heat from the glue will blister the flowers okay so that's the reason we use a cold glue made specifically for flowers another thing is and we've tried this so let me tell you the reason if you use hot glue to secure that that ribbon in place and you put this corsage in the cooler that hot glue is going to pop loose it is not going to hold and it's going to all your bows are going to pop off. So you don't want to use hot glue when securing your ribbons. You want to go ahead and use your cold glue, okay? And I know that that seems like a pain, but that hot glue, if you put it in that cold, they're going to pop, every single one of them will pop off. And so it's just double the work. That's from experience because we did it one, <laughs> one um, prom. Every bow popped off and we were just so sad. So we had to go in and re-secure it with the cold glue. So yes, this is a little time consuming, but it does hold. I have never had, knock on wood, <laughs> the dog's gonna bark. Um, I have never had any issues with cold glue. Just be sure that you put enough glue on it. And again, it just takes enough glue, but it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna go anywhere. And yes, it's gonna kind of shift a little bit because it's, it's not tacky yet. 
Rhea Norman says the glue doesn't look stringy like hot glue. It's not stringy at all, no. And it's actually a bit runny. Um, I wish it had a little bit more substance. It's a little runny. I'm peeling this one back to be more of a bud state. Um, but, no ma'am, it it's not anything like hot glue. Um, but it does secure very, very, um, very tightly. It will hold it together very tight. Um, Mary Jean says, thanks for explaining hot glue versus cold glue. Of course, you're so welcome. Um, Saska says, good luck to all the children you have coming in to water <laughs> That's no, They're not, they don't love that part. No, baby. Just, um, I don't know what we're having for supper, by the way. <laughs> oh, you are? Okay. Well, then we may have peanut butter and jelly or cereal. Sound good? No. <laughs> Okay, I can stop. I can stop and get milk, baby. Thank you for reminding me, though. Um, Kathy Shaw asks, if these are real flowers, how long does the flower last? So the flower will last a good long time in the cooler. Um, we will spray it down with something called Crown and Glory, which is a finishing spray. And so what Crown and Glory does is once you spray this, all these flowers down with the finishing spray, it seals the outside of the petals so that they don't lose the water that is actually inside the flower. Um, so they're planning on picking this up tomorrow. I'm not sure if the dance is tomorrow night or if it's Saturday, but either way, it's going to stay fine. It's, it will stay pretty um, in the cooler and it'll be pretty when they pull it out. Um, they shouldn't have any problems whatsoever with its freshness. Um, you don't want to do corsages, uh, you don't want to do flowers to wear um, too long, I mean too far out from the event, um, but with them picking it up tomorrow, we just knew it would be a good idea to go ahead and get it done today. Okay, so I have my flowers um, in place. So we always like to put our flowers first. Now some people like to do their greenery, which is fine there's really, you can't do this wrong, okay? It's really all in your preference, okay? Next, I'm going to take some, so this, so this, parvifolia. parvifolia. It's got the v in there instead of parfolia. Parvifolia. One day, I'll remember, mm -hmm. but I have to have you to remember it. Okay, so the wonderful part about this little eucalyptus is it's got all these tiny little little shoots that come off of it so I like to use the little individual shoots so I'm going to take it and I'm going to strip off the bottom leaves just like that I'm going to toss those and then I'm going to use this as just a little bit of greenery tucked in so I'm going to take it and you see that little stem is really short I'm going to take it and dip it right down into my glue add a touch of glue to it and I am going to poke it right into this arrangement. Just poke it right down in there and y'all it will adhere. It just takes a minute, okay? And I just use as much greenery as I think it looks pretty. So I just strip it off, add a touch of glue. Now this I will say um, of all the things that we do in all the floral arrangements that we do, this to me is the longest, the most tedious little work. Matthew Riddle asks, are these real flowers or silk flowers, and can the glue you're using be used with silk flowers, and where do you get it? She um, says she couldn't find it at Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, or Walmart, and she doesn't use Amazon. And you don't use Amazon. Okay, so that's going to be the hardest thing. You can find it at, um, at floral supply stores, so like if you went to Direct Floral, you can find it. You, If you're using silk flowers, I say use hot glue. Hot glue works beautifully with artificial flowers, so if I were going to use artificial flowers, I would not use the cold glue. Um, if you are going to use fresh flowers, I would say absolutely use the um, floral adhesive for fresh flowers. Um, they do have this on Amazon, and if you have to, I would probably ask somebody to order it for you on Amazon if you want if you don't use it yourself. I would ask somebody who does to order you some. I think she it's a boycott thing. Oh, it's a boycott thing. Okay. Um, Miss Marianne 
says, sorry, I missed the beginning. Is this a one corsage or do you have multiples to make the calm before the storm? <laughs> we, it's just one. It's just one corsage. They're having some kind of little dance tomorrow. And I thought this would be, um, this would be something that I could show you because it's something that we don't do every day. And we've actually had a few questions about corsages, so that's why I wanted to show you this. Um, okay, so I just tucked in my little, my little greenery. So you can see how it's just kind of tucked right in. And honestly, you can put as much or as little, and you don't even necessarily have to put greenery. If you like just the flowers, you can do that. Now, I don't have any white filler flowers, so I'm gonna choose not to add filler. But I am going to add a few of these little um, berries. So we had some seeded eucalyptus, and I grabbed some of the berries from the seeded eucalyptus just because they're pretty. Um, so I'm just going to take like a little cluster of those berries. You know what would be pretty? I wonder if we have any white hypericum berries in there. Uh, Miss Linda asks, have you ever used snippets of green ball dianthus for the greenery and corsages? Ooh, that sounds beautiful. What a great suggestion. Thank you. I have never thought about it, but that sounds beautiful. Miss, if I had some, it would be so pretty. <laughs> Miss Margaret Lynch says, Monty, wouldn't Smart. it be awesome to live near you for Valentine's Day? I would make you scones and tea. Oh, and I would hug your neck, Miss Margaret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so I am just taking these little um, snippets of the berries from seeded eucalyptus. So anything that you have that's just a pretty texture and it comes tiny, you can put that in a corsage. And so that's the reason I chose these little seeded, seeds from the seeded eucalyptus. And so I'm just adding a little, a little touch of that glue and I'm just nestling it right down in to that corsage. Cam says he has his mom, uh, Miss Sandy Lee Aldridge, watching today. Hello, Miss Sandy Lee Aldridge. Thank you for being here. We love your sweet boy. Okay, so these are some little stones. So when they, we love it when our customers um, send us a picture of their little dress. Um, and so she sent me a picture and it kind of had little sequins on her dress. So we thought we would take some of these little stones and tuck them in. Now, I like to take them and cut them apart and add them in two different placements. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here um, because they're not terribly um, cheap. But if you use them in two different placements, you don't feel like um, you feel like they got more for their money. Kind of like anything else. If you can cut it up into smaller pieces and put it throughout the arrangement, you feel like you got to do more for their money. So I'm going to take it and actually cut it into two pieces. So I have one piece with three stones and then one piece with two stones. I can hold it in my hand. Um, Carol Neal asks if you can make okay. this with larger roses. Um, now I prefer smaller roses because a large rose, most of the time, if you use a standard size rose, it's just so big um, and it's kind of clunky. So for me personally, I prefer smaller roses but you can absolutely use standard size. If you like standards, you use them. Um, but it's really all in your preference. It's all up to what you like. So I'm just taking, you're gonna do everything the same. Just take a tiny little bit of glue, add it to that, um, the end, and I'm just nestling that right down in. They're saying it's so sweet and pretty. But you see, it's kind of tedious. Um, I have never been a huge, huge fan. Now, if this is all I had to do, that would be wonderful. You know, if I only had to do one, but when you get 75 of them that you have to do for the prom, it gets a little tedious because it's time consuming and you have to do it in layers. So here is our, our little wristlet. I don't know if you can see it very well. But I added the stones, and by cutting it in two different pieces, it made it go throughout the, the spray. Can you see it in there? Mm -hmm. Am I? It's out of focus. Do I need to back it up? You went dark. Oh, were mm -hmm. you supposed to go dark? <laughs> anyway, it's a very, um, it's a pretty little yeah, simple. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry, guys, over on YouTube. That was my fault. Goodness, my nose there is itching. Is that better? Can you see it? I think you 
But anyway, I added those little um, those little rhinestones in two different places. But it's very simple. Now, of course, a corsage can be as simple or as fancy as you would like. This is just a little. Um, I, I guess it's a spring fling or a Valentine. I'm not exactly sure about this dance. But her little dress was this pretty, um, this pretty green color, and it had a few little sequins. So that was just, um, just a little added touch I thought would be pretty. Um, now what we do is, I instead of back at COVID. We used to order um, little plastic boxes um, that would come, and they were made specifically for corsages. Well, during COVID, we struggled. I'm going to move you up again. Um, during COVID, yeah, I think so. Um, we struggled with finding those boxes. It was a terrible struggle finding um, the correct boxes for these corsages and boutonnieres. So I'm gonna go grab a box and show you the kind of box we like to use when it comes to dances. Give me two seconds and let me run grab that. Sorry everyone on YouTube, I keep having to cut it off to make sure it looks good. This, that, I, um, I think that should be the last time though. Um, Miss Mary Lou Osa was in here taking a nap. Um, he tried to get up on the table earlier, but he couldn't with all the glue and everything, or we just didn't want him up there with all the glue. Um, so I'm sure he's found another resting place to take a nap, but he wasn't here. All right, so how we like to package our corsages is we buy these little craft um, boxes. And they're actually made, I think you could put cookies in them, they're bakery type boxes, okay? And when COVID hit and we struggled so hard um, sourcing products, like floral products, we kind of had to shift gears and figure it out because it was hard when we had to do corsages and boutonnieres and box them. Now, years ago, when I first started in the floral industry, we would put them in bags, like little cello bags, and the little bags would have like a little cardboard piece. Well, we used all of our cello bags, and so then we struggled buying cello bags to put them in. So, we found these little bakery boxes and we found that they work beautifully. So what we do is we just have to um, put them together. And I just like to add a little bit of tape. Uh, Maria Norman asks, how much would the corsage cost? This is a $20 corsage. This is, we sell it for 20. Now, if it gets to prom and we start doing a lot of fancy stuff with them, they go up, but um, for just a regular little corsage, it's $20. Gwen Banks on YouTube asks, do many people use artificial? Not here. Um, not usually for flowers to wear or flowers to carry. Now, we are trying to start um, adding more artificial blooms to our business where we do rentals of larger um, floral pieces. And I actually will deliver one um, on I guess it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. My days are running together. I apologize. Um, we will deliver it tomorrow night, so I will take pictures and show you what it's going to look like. But it's a big, large mantle um, installation of flowers um, that are all going to be faux flowers. And it's just a rental, so we will go back and pick it up. It's wonderful. So here's our little box. I did use the larger of the boxes because I'm going to have a boutonniere that matches. So we're going to tuck it in the same box. We like to put um, some little craft colored shred, craft paper shred down in the bottom. Um, here at our flower shop, we call that foo-foo, <laughs> just because it's funny. Um, but we add our little shred down to the at the bottom. And then I just kind of nestle my little corsage right down into that shred. And then we will add the little boutonniere um, right down in that box with it. And then usually we will just take it and close it. And I tie it with a little bit of, um, I don't know how to say this correctly, raffia or raffia. Um, and then we put our little card on it. So it's, and then it has this pretty little window so we can say, is this the right color? You know, when you have a thousand corsages, you hate to open the box and show it to, <laughs> open all the boxes and show it to them and then close all the boxes. And so I love that it has the little clear window that makes it easy to see through. Sweetbriar says the boxes are perfect. I do remember them from a pre 
a previous or precious video? Yes, we did a previous video, and I think I showed you these boxes, but they really work well. We've enjoyed the little bakery boxes. We think they, they work well for this purpose. Um, she says, and they're recycled, so that's always a blessing. They're not the hard plastic. She says, I need to get some. Yes, and they're not terribly expensive. Honestly, they were less expensive than the little hard plastic ones. Okay, so with this, um, I wanted to close this going to see if I can wipe it off. Here's a little ribbon. I always try to wipe off the glue. Now, one little trick with this little glue bottle is if there's any glue left on that nozzle, it is going to cause the lid to stick to it. So, what we have found is if you'll take some um, plant shine and pop that little, um, the little nozzle with the plant shine, it almost puts like a little, um, non-stick spray on there and then I did wipe it off so it won't stick and then you add your lid back to your glue but that little plant spray acts like that little non-stick so your lid won't stick to it that's always a plus and then I just take it and put it right back in my box so I know where my lid is and I know where my glue is and you're always going to know this is the box you used because you have the little hole in it Harness Paul asks, where do you get your bakery boxes? We ordered them on Amazon. Um, and we order them in different sizes. I, I think that this is, is this the six by six? I ordered them in, in, we actually order them in three different sizes. I think I have the eight by eight. This may be the six by six. And then I think I have a four by four. Um, and so we have one that's small, and the smaller one can hold just a boutonniere or a corsage, and then this size can hold both of them. And then the larger one, like if we have a funeral and we have lots of boutonnieres that we needed to put into a box, we usually use the larger one for that. Um, but they're fairly inexpensive, and we just bought them in bulk to make it easy. Um, but they're in, we like it. it. It has really served its purpose. We've been very pleased with these boxes. Um, Diane Henning says, any paper store has those boxes. I've used them many times for food items. Really? I guess, well, we don't really have a paper store. But yes, I think you could probably, I think that's great. Thank you for letting us know. I know that you could probably get them at the hobby store for sure. Um, but yeah. And the lady who asked about the glue, be sure that when you buy floral adhesive glue, that you buy the Oasis brand. Um, we struggled, we tried other brands and we struggled with getting them to do exactly what we needed them to do. So if you're going to buy the cold glue, the floral adhesive, absolutely don't buy anything but o Oasis brand. Which I think, um Allison is a saint, and I think I she's responded Allison. to several people with like the Oasis website link to the floral. Allison, piece. you are wonderful. <laughs> I could hug you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweet friend. But yes, definitely, definitely use the Oasis brand. Don't try to skimp on any other type. Only the Oasis brand. We've tried other brands, and they do not work. They will fall apart, and you will be mad. <laughs> <laughs> because that is no fun. Um, but definitely the Oasis brand is what you want. Um, Sweetbriar asks, have you seen my reels, Moni? LOL, I'm rusty, but getting there. Girl, I have not. I will go look. Mm -hmm. I will certainly look. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Good for you. Yay, yay, yay. Rhea Norman says, we always used to pop a pin in the top of the glue, then put the lid on. Oh, I've never even thought. So you can put the pin on and it stay inside the lid? That's so smart. Like a little boutonniere pin. I'm gonna try that. If I have a boutonniere pin in here. So I think she, I wasn't listening very well. I think she um, pops it in and then puts the glue on. Oh, and then or, or puts, puts the, the pin. She puts doesn't the leave the lid, she does not leave the pin down in there. Uh, yeah, I think she okay. just pops it to To it. make sure it's cleaned yeah. out? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, on. I didn't even know it would stay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we have lost the lids. Of course, you're going to. If you've done this, you're going to lose a lid. And that's why I showed you the trick on saving your lid by sticking it in the little hole because you're going to lose it. And we have used corsage pins to close it, but that it's going to dry up. I mean, it'll dry so much faster. 
Allison says one day I'm going to fly down there and get that hug in person. You come on, Allison. We would love to have you, my sweet friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Diane says paper or party store. Sorry for misleading. Fantastic. Thank you. That's such a great idea. I'm so glad you told us. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Carl Garrison also says uh, Walmart had the boxes in their party section, and it's a pretty corsage. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you. We usually buy them in kind of bulk. Like, I think we get 25 boxes at a time. So, we get them a little cheaper if you buy them in bulk. Oh. Maria says, no, they leave the pen in. Oh, you have to let me go get a boutonniere pen. Let's go see. I think a corsage pen might too be, be too big. I couldn't find a boutonniere pen in, that, in my um, drawer of shame right there. Gonna try it. I think it would be a boot, right? I think a corsage is too big. Rhea says they use dressmaking pins. So it would be like this smaller head, like the little boot pin. Yep, look. Look at there. So I pushed that little pin on top. Nope, it won't. Um, it's it's too large. It won't let it. Um, it won't let me screw it on. John Miller says the corsage is beautiful. Like Thank the box you. with the window. Thank you, Miss Dawn. Thank you. Um, Deborah Brown, why wouldn't the pin glue in there? I suppose it. I'm, well, I mean, in the past, we have used like this corsage pin, the larger headed pin, um, when we needed to because we lost the lid. Um, but really, it's just, it's the most important thing is to keep up with your lid, um, which is a hard thing to do. Um, it's the mo it's, it's really important to the life of your glue to keep up with that lid. Randall asks or says, I've asked before, but could you show a heart made out of grass? I need to make a centerpiece for a wedding. I don't have any grass here or I would be happy to. So what you're going to do is just like, mm, I don't know if I have, I have some ruscus. I have not ruscus, myrtle. I have some myrtle that'll probably give you some kind of, hang on. <laughs> I got it in here in a bucket. Let's see if I can kind of show you what I would do with it. So to make a heart with any type of knowledge, so this is myrtle, right? This is um this is long myrtle. So I would, if you're going to use grasses, you're gonna take the grass and you're gonna attach it to a stem. It's gonna need like a wood pick or some type of stem so you can stick it down into your foam. And then you're going to take these individual tips. With grass, I would probably go ahead and wire the end, the tips of that greenery or that, I'm sorry, that grass. And I would tuck it down into the foam and then I would take the other and tuck it in. So it would be done more like this. But you're gonna tuck both ends down into, into your foam, and that's what's gonna pull it. You're just doing loops. It's the same as I do with the large leaves. You're just gonna make loops, but you're gonna have a pick on one on both ends. So say this is the length of your grass, you're going to have a pick on this end and a pick on this end, and then you're going to make it in a loop like so, and then make another loop and stick it in and it's going to look somewhat like a heart. Rhea Norman says we use the pins without the glass and just the metal pin. Oh, just the metal pin. I don't have one with a good head, you know, that has enough of a, um, I don't have any of just a little push pin, like a a little silver pen. But that's smart, Rhea. Thank you. Thank you for that tip. Um, Kevin L. Randall says thank you. Of course. You're welcome. I bet, though, there is probably a YouTube video on exactly how to make that grass heart. And if I had the grass, I promise I would show you. I'd be happy to. Um, but yeah, I would probably put a pick on each end of the grass and the bottom end put on one side and then kind of make a loop and then come with the second one. Pam Ellis 
Chris says, remember to take a breath during this Valentine's season. God's got this. Thank you, sweet friend. Thank you. I don't know. It's just a... I, I'm just... I don't know why I have a little anxiety right now. But this too shall pass, right? It's just how it works. <laughs> a little anxiety. Deborah, just a little anxious. <laughs> Deborah Brown asks, how would you keep the wire in the middle from showing? The wire in the middle of, of the grass... So is it going to be just all by itself, the grass? You're not going to add any flowers or anything to the arrangement? Is it just going to be hearts of grass? That was a different person oh. from the original. Oh, is that what this... The, so this That was just someone else asking how would you cover the wire. With the grass making the heart? I would add flowers down at the base. So if you're making an arrangement, often if you're going to use the grass to be your heart, you're going to have other flowers in. So you make your little heart just nestled down into an arrangement that already has the pretty flowers. So you wouldn't see it because the flowers are going to cover up any of those mechanics. Um, Avanel said, Is that, yes, was that the right I question? Flowers. Yeah, that was the question. Did I answer that right? Is that what? Okay. <laughs> just yeah. much when I don't read it, it, it yeah. kind of throws me mm -hmm. off. So I no, apologize. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> if I wasn't reading it, I would not. I would have no. Well, idea. yesterday, <laughs> um, one of my friends that I met at Brooks Creative Circle, Christy, um, Callie says said the name of her um, flower shop, and so the name of her flower shop I didn't recognize right offhand. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about how she had done lives, and I'm like, "Tell me, at, do I follow you?" Christy said, "Monty, you know me." <laughs> we met, and I'm like, yesterday was one of those wild days too. I was I was all over the place yesterday, so I I ask your forgiveness on that video too. <laughs> there are days when no telling how I'm gonna act, so I apologize. Um, I think Miss Janice Sloan. It's not letting me look back at all the comments, but Janice Sloan said that she sent us a little goodie Aww. in the mail today. We should be receiving it by Monday. Miss Janice, thank you. You are so kind. And I know that you've sent me a couple of messages, and I just have been so crazy busy today, so I'll go back and read those. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so kind. Thank you. Um, Miss Deborah Locke says, I'll be praying for you over the holiday. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. This too shall pass, and it will. It's just a little overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. It's just a crazy, crazy holiday. Uh, Miss Linda asks, how long do you let the glue set before spraying with crowning glory, and do you let the crowning glory dry before putting the corsage into the cooler? Love so you glue. can spray it now. Like, I could have sprayed it immediately. The crowning glory is not going to hurt it at all. So what I'm going to do, because we're going to leave for the day, I do not spray it and leave it wet and put it in a cooler. So I'm going to leave it dry, put it in the cooler, spray it before I send it home with her. Um, or I may pull it out of the cooler tomorrow and leave it out on the counter and let my crowning glory dry. Always let your, um, your finishing spray dry before you put it in the cooler because you never know if the cooler is going to get too cool and it might freeze that that wetness that's on those flowers. So if you can leave it room temperature to dry, that's always better than putting it in the cooler. Um, a few people, uh, more people are saying they're praying for you. Thank you guys, season. thank you, thank um, you. And uh, this does pass, it's just one of those, it's just overwhelming. Penny's Petal <laughs> says it's the Valentine season, I'm anxious also. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, and I, this has been a harder one than normal. I don't normally struggle with anxiety. This I don't think. I told Kelly Do today I? that um that I normally don't feel anxious during Valentine's, but for some reason this year I'm a little Well, I tell you what's funny is and Kelly and I went back through we're we're starting to get our flowers in and our cooler looks like it doesn't have as many flowers as normal. Last year, we used Boo Koodles, is that a word? We used a ton of hydrangeas. And so hydrangeas take up a whole lot of space. When you get those put in your cooler, I mean, 36 stems is a huge percona, right? And so I think we might have gotten eight or 10 cases last year of hydrangeas. We decided not to use those large white hydrangeas this year because we knew that we wanted them to last as long as possible. Hydrangeas are not the longest lasting bloom. So we didn't order them, but my cooler looks empty and I'm like, Kelly, do we even have enough flowers? You know, you start to have that panic attack about, 
I, what if I didn't get enough flowers? What if I didn't this or what if? And so we went back and we looked at all of our menus and we said, we're going to be fine. But it's an overwhelming feeling because when it gets here, you're just crazy and you just sell what you got and you get it over with. <laughs> but it is one of those kind of, what if I didn't do it right? And I mean, crap, I've done it for 30, it feels like. I've done it for 30 years, but oh, it's just one of those type of seasons that you just never know, you know, and it is what it is. Um, Deborah Brown wants to know if you had to make a boutonniere to go with it. I do have to make a boutonniere, and actually, I could probably sling that really, really quickly with you guys. I do have corsage tape. Um, so what I'm gonna do is exactly what I did with that one, and I may, I'm gonna pull these petals back. So I, except I'm going to wire and tape. So used to years and years ago, you would only wire, I mean, when I learned floral design, I did not learn the taping, I mean the gluing technique. I only used wire and tape. I never learned to glue um, because back then we didn't. I mean, I graduated um, from college in, 1999 and so in the late 90s that we didn't do glue so I'm going to use the same um, the same wire that I used for my um, for my corsage and I'm just gonna take it and you're gonna run it and you've seen me do this before but I'm just gonna run it right through that calyx so you run that wire all the way through that flower Y'all can see it. Um, Go I'm ahead. No, Miss Kathy, um, I just read your message. We can show you, I can try, we can post a picture of what the tube looks like for you. Yeah, for I will. For the glue. Also, she did say, um, I did read your question earlier. She said for silk flowers, um, you'd recommend hot glue. I'd do right? hot glue. I'd use a hot glue gun. Um, because it's not going on a cooler. Anything that doesn't go in the cooler, you don't have to use this cold glue um, because hot glue is going to be fine for um, artificial flowers. They're not going in a cooler. So I have taken and wired that, that stem. Now do not, I repeat, do not take a shortcut and not wire and tape this flower. So I'm taking this corsage tape or it's a paper tape infused with wax and I'm just going to pull it all the way down that stem, just like that. Now let me explain to you why you don't take the shortcut, okay? Because if you just take these two stems and tape them together, when they go to put that pin in, it's going to break that stem. When it breaks that stem, that head's gonna pop off, okay? please wire and tape your flowers. You're gonna find that they are not gonna fall apart. Cause I did that one time. I had a little girl who, um, who didn't wire and tape. She just taped them all together and put pins in them and all my heads popped off. And I was like, well, no wonder you wire and tape. So I learned that lesson on my own. Um. Miss Jan says, thought, use clear fishing line attached to the green slash grass and to, and to a pick to hold in place below the heart for the, for the bending. For That's the smart. Bending. That is so smart. Sending prayers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Miss Donna says, Monty, you're doing a great job. Hang in there. Everything will be just fine. Thank you. Thank you. And I know it will. It's just, it's just, it goes with the territory. It's just how it is. When you get, when you get so many things going, it gets overwhelming. Kristen Weaver says, I'm struggling this week too, trying to get my cookies made to post. Oh, I can't wait to see them. So I'm just going to take the two little buds, just two little buds, and I just kind of stacked them. And you put one um, kind of up above the other, just like that. And then I'm going to take my tape, and I'm just going to tape those two stems together. Um, a few people have been asking how is Micah Thomas. He's great. He's great. We've got him in a boot, and he's fine. He was up here. Um, he was greening out vases. We told him if he'd learned to design, we'd give him a raise. He said, I think I'm going to get a raise this year. <laughs> Because he um, added greenery to vases, which he, if of my two children, he would be my designer. He is my more artistic of my two children. Now, I will say Owen's 
Owen's pretty artistic when it comes to um, all his computer stuff. I mean, like and all music. of his and his music. And mm-hmm. yes, he's very he's very musical. Mm-hmm. I wish he would let me um, video him because I would love for you to hear Owen play the mm-hmm. piano. He's amazing, but he won't let he won't even play it in front of me because there's a UPS truck. Um, he won't even play it in front of me because I want to tape him every time. So I just added a little bit of greenery to that boutonniere. And I am just going to tape it. So I guess Owen is an artistic child. Will you go run, let him in? Just go through this um, curtain. It's probably, um, it's not locked. Okay, so there's the little boutonniere. Now what I usually do is I'll just take some snips. Now some people curl theirs, and you can. I mean, it's, it's one way or the other. It doesn't really matter. Some people like to curl the little stems. You can see that little curl. Or you can leave it straight. It doesn't matter. I usually leave it straight, but that curl's kind of cute. And then I usually add two boutonniere pins, but you can add... Um, I like to add two, and I tell you why, because sometimes that little head will pop off. So, but there's the little pin just tucked in. It's a little black, black-headed pin tucked in. And there's our matching boutonniere. Now, I don't usually put, like, the ribbon and all the sparkles. Um, I usually just put the flowers that match. And so, there's our corsage. Our little corsage and our little boutonniere. Can you see that on YouTube? I think you can. Yeah. Um, Donna Coker says maybe Owen could do the background music for a vlog. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> but he's amazing. Yes. Like, I mean, I promise I'm not trying to really brag. Um, no, but, he's... like, he plays classical music. Like, his mama can play a, a good little church song. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has not a whole lot of chords. Owen can, and he rem- he memorizes it, which blows my mind at how he memorizes it. But he'll memorize the entire piece and then play it. Like, he is really good. And I wish he would do that for, I, wish, I don't, he plays for himself. He won't play because he wants to entertain anybody. He's just doing it for himself. But he did. He decided when he was a senior in high school that he was going to learn to play the piano. He's never played before. He never had any lessons. Um, and when he was a senior in high school, he decided that he took, what, music appreciation, Victoria, I think, and he hired the little guy who was teaching music appreciation to teach him to play the piano. And he has played the piano. He's taken lessons since. So I guess for the past, I guess, five years, he's taken piano lessons. And, like, he's amazing. Like, I mean, he amazes me because mm-hmm. his mama can not, well, I don't practice like he does either. But he is. I mean, and he was mad. I can't believe y'all didn't make me learn to play the piano. Really, honey? Mm-hmm. I mean, why would we have ever thought that that would be something you wanted to do? But he's really good at it, and he loves it. And I'm so thankful. I am so thankful he loves things. <laughs> um, Marcel Lum says, hello from Melbourne, Australia. I caught you live at last. Hello, friend. Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. Miss mm-hmm. Valerie says, um, your mama hello thank y'all for being here this afternoon thank you thank you uh, miss jenna sloan says that's why i sent you all a yummy happy to help you with the stress you sweet friend miss jenna you are too kind to us thank you for loving us um i said i said a thank you tell me the little lady who sent our valentine card pam ellis. She, miss, she commented did me. she miss pam thank you for the sweet valentine card thank you so much you are so kind i I um, put a note on um, Facebook today thanking you for your Valentine card. But I wanted to say to all those who have ever sent us sweet happies, you have no idea how much that makes us smile and how happy that makes us. Um, It really means the world. Y'all are too kind to us, and we thank you so very much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are we doing? I don't think so. I don't see any more questions. And if, if I may have also 
Miss you. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate you all so, so very much. If you have any questions about how we do things, I know I say that all the time, but we are so happy to answer your questions. We really, really are, and we get lots, and so we're so thankful for that. Thanks for trusting us to try to answer your questions, and always, if I don't know the answer, we'll figure it out. We'll ask around and find out. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so we are probably going to do some of this get ready, get all ready for the holiday with us. We'll do some tours of, um, we'll get in the flowers tomorrow. I may do some different videos um, tomorrow with processing of flowers and we've got the kids coming in and I say kids, they're all in high school and and college to wire yeah. <laughs> like they're not really kids but um, we'll have them starting to wire we've got extra hens coming in on Saturday to start designing and getting ready for the holiday um, but we I don't know what our videos will look like they probably won't look as professional as this one um, but we will do lots of videos so you guys over here on YouTube if you want to watch um, the the wild mess that goes on during Valentine's, please join us over on Facebook. I will say Tuesday at 4 o'clock, I am not sure that we will do a regular 4 o'clock on YouTube and Facebook. Um, so, I, next week, I'm not exactly sure how the videos will look. We will definitely do videos, but I don't know how they will look. Um, so, I'm just saying that <laughs> just to say out loud that it's not going to be the same as normal. It's going to be crazy. Okay. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I'll be back here live first thing in the morning at eight o'clock to do our devotion. So if you'd like to join us, I'd love to have you here and then we'll see you sometime tomorrow being crazy. Y'all have a great night and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys.